Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery and this is an Excel for Evaluators tutorial. This tutorial is about data bars, which are one of many lovely features within conditional formatting that help you explore your data before you do any heavy duty analysis. Let's get started. So here's my data set. It's a pre and post test analysis. I have my pre-test scores, my total scores in one column, my post test scores in another. And what I want to do is look for just some preliminary patterns and see if the pre-test scores might be correlated with the post test scores. So so make sure you're on your home tab up here and then you want to click on conditional formatting. In previous videos we explored highlight cells rules and top and bottom rules. Now we're going to look at data bars. Okay, so let's highlight all of the data. You can highlight the pre and post test scores at the same time. Go back up to conditional formatting, click on data bars. Let's make some blue bars. And there you have it. You've got some in cell bar charts that help you see patterns. I've already sorted using my little filters here the scores from the lowest pre test scores to the highest and let's look what happens as we scroll down. You can see that there's probably some type of correlation between pre and post test scores meaning youth who scored lower at the beginning of the program also tended to score lower at the end of the program and vice versa. You can also uh, shrink your columns, uh, pretty illegible there, but look what happens as you spread out your columns. Nice and easy to see the patterns as you scroll through. Very, very nice. Would you ever copy and paste this and put it in a report? No, of course not. This is just for you, for your own knowledge as the evaluator to look for some initial patterns and maybe you'll get some ideas for further analyses that should be done. So there you have it, data bars. Thank you.